beautiful people this is Amy the Cali Texan and we're back with another video so this is a whole combination of all kinds of stores I want to share a few deals with you guys to hopefully you guys can score too okay I am going to start with Walmart because it's the smallest thing I have right now guys I think 4th of July hits like technically the end of summer so after 4th of July all the summer things go on sale and this i've been seeing this at kroger i've been seeing this at walmart i've been seeing this at heb like all the summer stuff is on sale right now so right now kroger has 50 um 50 percent off of summer stuff so that's beach toys it's like ooh, weed eater um barbecue stuff all that kind of stuff now i want to show you guys some candles i scored from kroger real quick um, so this is a big 18 ounce candle, right? This one is peach roast prosecco and it's 18 ounces. Now I also got this one. This one I've been using like every day and it's citrus sunrise with essential oils, grapefruit, apricot, and jasmine. This is also 18 ounces and they smell delicious. Your whole smells your house smells like amazing. This has a lid too. I just don't know where the lid is. Now, funny story. When you live with boys, boys are boys, right? So we're in Kroger shopping and Avon yells out in the store. Mom, can I get a candle? My room stinks. <gasps> I almost died. It was the funniest thing ever. So I said, yeah, you guys go pick out a candle. You guys have to agree on it, right? So they both came back with a 14 ounce candle, which is smaller, right? It was like about this big. They each had their own and they're like, oh, these candles are only 10 bucks, mom. So I'm like, okay, but you guys have to agree on it. So then I'm walking through the store and I tell Frankie, I don't want to spend $10 on a candle for their room. I don't. So I take them back to the candle section and there's a huge sign and it says 14 ounce candles, $10, 18 ounce candles, $5.49. So I told them, guys, this is a bigger candle and it's half the price. Why don't you guys pick out a big candle and we could get two for the price of one of those small ones. So they picked out this peach one for their room. They both agreed. And I picked out this one for my house. I don't know if it's because these are considered summer scents or just because the bigger ones were not selling. I'm not sure why they um, were on sale, but they were $5.49 for the bigger candle, which I'm so glad we got these two candles for 10 bucks instead of one of the smaller ones. Um, moving right in to Walmart. Pioneer Woman, ladies. Pioneer Woman is on clearance. I know for sure all her summer signs, her ice cream maker, any of the ice cream flavorings that you can make your own ice cream. Pioneer Woman is on clearance at Walmart. As well as all the summer signs, like they have some porch signs that say summer. They have big circle ones that say summer. Anything summer. So like like um, flip-flops, beachy theme, nautical theme, um, the bright colors. All those signs are on sale right now. They're on the clearance. But these are the two I picked up. So this is Pioneer Woman. I think she's so cute. And it said all natural homemade ice cream. And these words are like, it's like a wooden applique. Like they're a little 3D. They, they pop out a little bit. I thought this was so cute. It's like a little shadow box, so this is how it's how thick it is. So you can hang it up on your wall or you could prop it like on your desk, like it stands up. Um, I'm not sure how much this was because I took off the sticker, but I know I only paid $3 for it. So this was only $3 at Walmart. And it's absolutely adorable. And then this one I had on my porch and I thought this was the cutest thing ever. And it says, meet me on the porch. 
Now this one, the original price I left on. So right there says $5.98, but this was only $4. So this may be marked down now. I'm not sure how much more, but I got it at for $4. And it is, okay, it is a thin piece of, I don't know, plywood or compressed wood. Now I thought that the wooden signs like this from Dollar Tree, they kind of curved or bent in my head thinking like, oh, it's cheaply made, it's cheap wood. But this, I mean, this is from Walmart, Pioneer Woman, a $6 sign. And as you can see, it's not exactly flat. Like it does, it bends a little. I don't know if it's the weight or gravity, I'm not sure, but it curves a little bit. So it doesn't sit exactly straight. But you can hang it, you can leave it on your porch like propped up. This is so cute. And honestly, it looks super cute with my 4th of July flowers. I'll do at the end, I'll do a little quick video. I'll go put it back and show you what I had um, decorated for 4th of July. I'm going to take those items down now since 4th of July is over. Technically, I think you could leave it up until Labor Day because Labor Day is still red, white, and blue. But um, I think I'm going to decorate more with my sunflower items. So meet me on the porch. I thought that's so cute, especially if you have like your chairs propped out outside on your porch or like a little coffee table. Like I think that's so cute, guys. Meet me on the porch. That's where I'll be. Okay, so those are the two signs I got from Walmart. Now jumping in to Hobby Lobby. I don't know if I showed you guys this um, in one of my past hauls. I don't think I did because I was saving it for this one. Hobby Lobby has... 50% off of the spring shop. So this sweet tea and sunshine, like how cute is this little wooden box? And you can hang it, it has twine, or you can just set it, and I have it set in my kitchen. Super cute. Texas is all about their sweet tea. I know in the South, they're like very proud of their sweet tea. So this is something um, I didn't always get in California, but I absolutely love it. Sweet tea is amazing. So sweet tea and sunshine, like how cute for summer is that, guys? I only paid $3 for this. It was $6 and I got it for three. Then I also got this one and it says Sunny D's are here again. Again, this is another one. I'm not sure if I already showed you or if I was saving it, but let me show you the label that you're looking for. It's this green label that says Spring Shop. It's 50% off. And from $12.99, I paid um, $6.50. But I love it because, I don't know if that's a sunflower, but to me it looks like a sunflower. Sunny days are here again. Yes, ma'am. Yes, they are. Except in Texas, it's like storming. And my friend, she just told me um, that they have a hurricane warning over there in Huntsville. So here it's been raining really bad off and on. We just had like a huge like wind blowing, like all my trees were going crazy. Um, it kind of calmed down right now, but usually when it's hot and humid and it's windy like this and kind of dark, it's going to start pouring. So what usually happens, I'll get all dressed up, I'll get the kids ready, like, hey, let's go here, let's go to the store real quick. Once we get to the car or out to the car, it's like coming down super hard. So then we all run back in the house and don't go nowhere. But who knows? This one is also from Hobby Lobby. Now let me show you. Um, this is wall decor and it's marked $20. Okay, you see that? It's on clearance on 75% off is $4.99. And it's just a wooden frame and it says, let's stay home. I absolutely love this. I think it's the cutest thing ever. And I wanna put it, um, I have a fireplace, but I don't have a shelf over my fireplace. On the side of my fireplace, it's a little silly, but it's a little hard to explain. There's like a cut in the wall, it's, it makes a shelf. So I'm gonna push it there and it's, it's I have a big frame uh, mirror behind it. So then it'll go in front of my mirror. But let's stay home. Yes, ma'am, let's stay home. Now, $4.99 was in the 75% off. The guy told me that it's not getting cheaper. 75% off is like the lowest their clearance stuff goes. I have a question for all you Hobby Lobby shoppers out there. Because my Hobby Lobby, 
I seem to think like it's very hard to find something cute in the clearance section. When they have sales, yeah, of course you could score on stuff that's on sale. But the actual clearance section, we have two Hobby Lobbies in my area that are close to me. Both of those stores and their clearance sections, I rarely find something in good condition. Like this was a score. I was so pleased to find this. But usually they have stuff that's broken. And I don't understand it because it's to me, it's still kind of pricey for the fact that it's broken, cracked. It'll be like statues that are chipped, um, very noticeable. Oh, you guys see the trees? Look, look, guys, look. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> okay, so it probably is going to start storming pretty soon. And when I say storming, I mean wind like that. I mean lightning, thunder, and hard rain. So I'm sure it will. It's coming, guys. But yeah, so let me know in the comments. Do your guys' Hobby Lobby clearance section sell actual good things that they just didn't sell or it's past the season? Because almost all the time we go to our Hobby Lobby and I cruise through the clearance section, I always find crap. I find broken, um, damaged items. And to me, they're still overpriced for the fact that they're damaged. That's just my experience. I don't know if you guys have been able to score and find really good stuff. Let me know down below. Okay, guys, let me know. Last thing from Hobby Lobby is this little tiny milk can. Like, it's the cutest thing ever. It's a little galvanized milk can. And this is two dollars but it's on spring spring shop the spring shop this green label is what you're looking for so it's 50 percent off so i got this for a dollar which honestly i wouldn't not ever pay two dollars for this but one dollar i can deal with so i have these paper sunflowers i got from from dollar tree last year and this is gonna be beautiful on my tear tray. And they're gonna go right in there. I can even add like one more maybe. But look how beautiful that is. It'll be so cute in a little tear tray. Or if your house is like kind of farmhouse, like this is so cute because it's tiny. Um, very cute for a tear house, farmhouse, rustic. Um, you can even like do this as a wedding, like like a little favor on the table. You can change the flowers to whatever flowers that match your wedding. Um, I think this is so cute if you have like a barn house wedding or something. You could put it like on the table. Super cute party favor. I would love this. Okay, so yeah, this was $20. I only paid five. This, this was two, I paid one. This was 13, I paid 650. And this was six, I paid three. That was my Hobby Lobby stuff. Um, moving on. I'm going to do 99 cent store because I haven't done a 99 cent store in a while. My opinion, okay guys, I got a puppy, right? We just got a puppy. Let me know. I'm finding myself every time I'm at the store, like picking them up little toys, picking them up little treats. And it's almost like a baby. Like, oh, that's so cute. Like, I got to get it for the puppy. Oh, he needs more treats. I got to get it for the puppy. So I did get him more puppy pads. The 99 cent store had the extra large ones for 99 cents instead of $2, um, $2 which it usually was. I guess it was on sale. But, um... These are the treats. I found the 99 cent store has better treats than the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, sometimes I get lucky, but the 99 cent store I went to had like a whole like section of new dog treats. So I was like pretty surprised. So I got these carryouts. And this is a fairly big package. And this is meaty taste, long lasting fun, chew bones, beef flavor. So there's like meat inside the bones. And this is a 2.8 ounce bag. To me, this is a pretty big bag. Because at Target, dog treats are kind of pricey. Pet coat, forget it. Like, 
Petco, when we first got the puppy, we were going to Petco for everything that we needed to start to have a puppy. And then the girl tells me, oh, when you're a member, if you spend $100, then the next time you get a $5 to use, like $5 credit. She's like, every time you spend $100, you get $5 back, like a credit. But in my head, I'm like, dang, I don't want to keep spending $100. Like, so I'm trying to find other things besides going to Petco. So for a dollar, I thought this was a great deal. And it's the Carry Out's brand name. Okay, and it's resealable. I like the bags that are resealable. Okay, I they had a bunch of different ones. This packaging, first of all, is amazing. Like this looks like something high end that you would buy for yourself to eat as beef jerky. Um, and it's from Farmland Traditions recipe, chicken recipe, jerky tenders. And this is in Irvine, California. So, yeah, guys. It's, um, let's see. Chicken, pea flour, vegetable, glycerin, salt, vinegar, natural smoked flavor, and paprika. So, I like it when it's like a few ingredients. Made in the USA. Treats dogs love. No corn, no soy, no wheat, all good. Premium USA raised chicken. I like this. Like to me, this looks high end, like something you would find for yourself at like, I don't know, Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or something. So he hasn't tried this, but I got a red package, the same like this, and it was beef jerky sticks. And he like tore those things up. So now he has this one and it's, chicken jerky tenders and then i got two of these packs but he already like went through one pack hillside farms munchy bones natural ingredients natural beef hide taste that dogs love no artificial ingredients and this is hillside farms is this uh these are both Hillside Farms in Irvine, California. So, it's um, ingredients. Beef hide, rice starch. That's it. Two ingredients. I like that. So, um, yeah, natural beef hide taste. So, he's chewing on all my stuff right now. So, I'm trying to give him stuff he could chew on. So these are great for him, munchy bones, and you get one, two, three, four, five. You get five of these, and this plastic is like the plastic you would find like at a, for a toy or something. It's like, I don't know, it's a cool plastic. So I got him these. Oh, there's thunder, guys. There's thunder, I told you guys. I did pick up this big, this is like a two pack, like two bones in here. Lucky Dog Una Bone Two Piece, and this is this tree is 100% natural and will break down over time. Remove if splintering occurs. Always keep fresh water available. Not for human consumption, guys. 100% um, natural. Lucky Dog Bones, and this is from Omaha, New England. Made in USA. So it looks actually pretty good. It looks like a real bone that you would get like off your meat. So I got him this. This was $2. Um, I also picked up two bones. He's already like torn them up um, from the feed store. I had to take them on the 7th to get his last shot. And the feed store was like a new experience for us. So the feed store gives the puppy the shot and... They also had like all kinds of stuff. Like there was bunnies in cages. There's like food for horses. But they had all natural hide bones. And it was like a pretty big size bone. So they had them for $2. So I got him two of those so he could like chew on those. But yeah. Then I got him this. This is Purina Dental Life Daily Oral Care Dog Treats. So I found this very interesting. 57% average reduction in tartar buildup. Scientifically tested to, do, to reduce tartar buildup. This is so cool. Like, 
Of course, dog's teeth are like ours, like they need to keep them clean. But this bone is shaped like it has these little ridges and the teeth fit inside the ridges. So it actually like when they're chewing on it, it's like scraping against the teeth to, to take out any food or anything stuck in there. I thought that was so cool. So um, yeah, this is to me is a pretty big package. It says seven chews and it's for mini dogs and 2.05 ounces and it's Purina name brand. Pretty cool, I thought. Um, okay, so I did find the Soil Love. I absolutely adore this stuff. Okay, let me show you real quick. Let me show you. Hold on. Guess what, guys? It's raining. I told you. It's raining. We got storms. Okay, I'm going to borrow Nolan's phone to show you the Walmart app um, so I can scan some stuff for you. Okay? So just curious, I want to see how much these dental things cost because I paid a dollar at the 99 cent store. Let's see. Mm, let's try it one more time. I didn't read it. Okay, so they this didn't pick up. I guess I don't know if they don't sell it there, but let's try these. Let's see. Let's play how much does Walmart sell it for, guys. Okay, not that one either. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's see, this one. Okay, this one scanned. And it says, out of stock. Um, how much is it though? Check another store. Let's see. How about walmart.com? Sorry, it's just loading. I don't know if the storm's interfering with the um, with the internet. I don't know. Let's see. So I hope you guys all had a wonderful Fourth of July. I hope you guys had fun, enjoyed it, had some good food, enjoyed some fireworks, family, friends. Um. We had like some big fireworks going on here in, in Spring, Texas. Okay, I don't know guys, it's, it's not really, it says temporarily, oops, we're having a problem. I'm sure it's more than a dollar though. I'm like positive it's almost more than a dollar. Okay, well, with that being said, let's try this carryouts and see if they have this one. Yes. Okay, online? Do you guys see that price? $2.22 or something like that? I know it's it's a little hard to see on the phone. Have you guys seen that? Okay, two twenty two. And at the store, okay, at the store they're like out of stock for this particular one, but. Let me get the right ounces for you guys. Yeah, $2.22 at Walmart. It's right there. So I paid a dollar. I could have got two for the price of one at Walmart. You see that, guys? Um, 
Well, let me scan this Pioneer Woman sign for you guys. It was, I paid four, but let's see, maybe it's cheaper now. It's $3 now. So, you see it? So it's like $3 right there. Okay, so I'm going to share the barcode with that for you guys in case you guys want to check if your store has it. So you could you could screenshot it and then take a and then scan it on your app and see if they have it and maybe it's cheaper at your store. Some stores like the the stores are all different. Okay, so back to Soil Love. The spray bottle is $2 at the 99 cent store. 1.99 See, and this is 22 fluid ounces. This one is a dollar and this is 16 fluid ounces. So you're missing what? Seven ounces, but this one's a dollar, this one's two. I saved my spray bottle from last time and I am literally just gonna fill it in. I love this stuff. It's so good for stains. I promise you it's underrated. Like not too many people I feel like know about this, but it's the best ever. America's finest value made in the USA stain remover. It's amazing. Hi. Right. Here's Nolan guys. I hope you guys like his haircut. He just got a haircut yesterday. It's look back and a size or shape though. Mm-hmm. Got him a new look. So we're just gonna fill this baby in. Okay, so this is all done. That'll go in the trash. This spray bottle, I don't know if you guys can see it filled up to right here. So I guess from here to here is the seven ounces that we're missing, but that's still to me more than half. So if you get two two of these for $2, I think it's cheaper than getting one of these for $2. I think you get more if you buy them separately. All right, so now we got our Soya Love Spray. Amazing guys, I promise you try it out. It's the best. Very good kept secret. Now, 99 cent store has not had Oxy in for a while, but they got it in and I scooped up four of these babies. Now I'm, I'm mad at myself because I threw my tub away. I had the little tub because all these, I found that all these had it the cheapest, the tub, it's like this big, and all they had it for $7. So I was thinking, I'm sure about four or five of these would fill up the tub, but for some silly reason, I threw the tub away and I bought four Oxys. So now I have the little cans, but I don't have the tub to compare it to see if it was cheaper to buy the tub or how many it would take for the dollar to fill up the tub. But I will have to let you guys know next time. Okay, um, last thing from the 99. Yes, is this little tripod. I decided to try it out. It's $2 and it's 360 spin. It holds any phone. Um, it has these little foam legs that you could stretch or bend in different, different ways. So I just thought I'd try it out. I'm sure it's not the best quality, but hey, it might work for $2. Well, why not try it? So that's that, guys. Dollar Tree, simple, few items. Let me show you real quick, all right? I bought myself a little composition book. They have the cutest designs ever right now. When I was in school, they literally only had the black and white print composition books. But now it's like they have so many cute patterns and designs. This is your typical composition book. It's from Jot, and it's like green and blue and purple and then green and yellow and blue on this side 
I got this to keep track. I want to keep track of all my sales for my business I started, my Sunkissed Threads. So I've been snapping a picture of my whiteboard of the sales for the month and how much I spent that month on, on expenses. So now I'm going to write everything down in here and I'm going to compare it for the whole year. I'm going to see how I do, um, if I break even, if I'm spending too much on expenses, if I'm profiting, um, I want to keep track of everything in this little book. But the thing is I paid a dollar at the Dollar Tree and right now I believe Walmart has them for 50 cents. Guys, school supplies are popping up everywhere. They're at Dollar Tree, Walmart, Kroger, like they are literally everywhere. So now is the time to stock up and get your school supplies on sale because they have them like 50 cents. They have them really super cheap. So I could have got two at Walmart for a dollar, but I got one at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. All right, but besides that, it's okay. Barbie, girl, I love you. You're the cutest. You're the cutest thing ever. So, Barbie just hit her 75th anniversary, y'all. I have the original Barbie doll from 1950, 59, I believe. I gotta check the box. I think it's 1959, where she's in her iconic black and white swimsuit. She has the cat eyeglasses, the heels. She's just like a classic beauty. Um, so I got these for her. And Barbie is like, I swear they did not have stuff like this at the Dollar Tree when I was growing up with Barbie. Because this little pack is so expensive, or it used to be when I was a kid. Like, I never really had the accessories because they were so expensive. But she comes with one, two, two pairs of glasses, two necklaces, and two headbands. And it has like a little, like a little case for it. Like how cute, Barbie. You can change your accessories. How cute. This one comes with four purses. You can like put on her little wrist. Super cute. Again, with the little, the little container to hold it. And like, it's like a little boutique, honestly, because there's like little hooks that you hook up. You like hang your purses on like what girl last one my puppy tried to get into he like bit my package this is a little stand with four pairs of heels how cute are these little packs guys and i swear growing up barbie was not a, at the dollar tree so if you see them pick them up because they are not a dollar guys um and these actually would be perfect if you guys do like the shoebox operation at the end of the year close to Christmas. Um, these are great for stocking stuffers, Easter baskets, um, if you make like Valentine's Day baskets for your kids, um, goodie bags like in the pinata, like for party favors if you do a Barbie, Barbie party. <laughs> Barbie party. Um, these would be so cute to give away in the goodie bag. Um, I don't know. There's so many cute things you could do with these little items, these little accessories. Stock up if you see them for a dollar, though, because like I said, all year, you, a birthday party, like a gift, you could get a cute Barbie doll and put like a little accessory in there. And honestly, from me growing up loving Barbie, a Barbie is amazing. But if you can also include an outfit or like a little accessory, like girl, your present just went to the next level, I promise you. So if you can include this with the Barbie doll for a dollar more, why not? This will like escalate your present game, I promise you. So I thought those were super cute. I had to pick them up. I had to show you guys because I fell in love with them. Okay, next up. I guess we're running low on stuff. I guess that's pretty much it. Last thing I want to show you guys real quick. This is a nine pack box. And this is from the Dollar Tree. To me, these look just like Cheez-Its. I don't know how they taste. But you get nine baggies in here. Cheddar cheese crackers. Like they look almost just like Cheez-Its. And these are from Pennsylvania. They look just like Cheez-Its. And you get nine of them for a dollar. 
Let me see. Let me see, guys. Because I love Cheez-Its. I think these are great for lunches, for your kids' lunchbox, for the diaper bag if you're going to the park, throw some in your purse. Um, these are great on-the-go snacks for your kids. Or just at home. And they're a good size. Like, they're not too big. It's not too much. It's like toddler size, guys. It's good size snacks. You could pack like a little pack of the cheese crackers and like a Capri Sun or something. Like, they're kind of hard to open though, honestly. I need the tiger teeth. Okay. I mean, they look to me just like Cheez Its. They don't taste exactly like Cheez Its. That's close, but to me, they don't taste exactly like Cheez-Its, but they're not bad for a dollar. You get nine of these for a dollar. That's pretty good. Pretty good, guys. All right, y'all. That's everything I had to show you. I know it's like been a mixture of all kinds of different stores and items with no organization or plan just kind of start throwing things at you guys but thank you so much for taking time out of your day thanks for sitting here and watching with me and spending time with me thanks for hanging out with me during the storm i hope you guys have a wonderful day be productive even in the rain try to get your goals done get your chores done um do you guys you guys do you stay positive have a wonderful day keep that smile on your face Drop me a comment. I love reading my comments. They make my day. You guys are amazing. Thanks to all my subscribers, everyone across the board. Love you guys. And I'll see y'all on the next video. All right? Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So there's my puppy. There's my rocket. And this is like, I just, I don't know what I thought looked cute. So it's like my two flowers I got from the 99. And then it says, meet me on the porch. And then on my door, I had got this last year from the 99 cent store. And it just says, God bless America. I think the balloons light up too. Let me see. Um, well, they're supposed to. I guess I don't have batteries. But that was just like my little simple 4th of July setup. So that's all I had going on. But it's raining, guys, so I'm gonna go inside and I hope you guys. Woo! You guys hear that? I hope you guys like this little setup that I had going on. Alright, let's go, Rocket. Alright, bye, guys.